Welcome to the Engineering Hall channel. Today we're going to take a look at some new locomotives to add to the roster. We're going to compare the model to the prototype. But we're going to skip the unboxing. But we're going to jump right into it. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And hit that bell icon to see notifications when I post videos to the channel. But if you like the locomotives that we're about to take a look at, go ahead and pick you up some at a Yankee Dabble there. So here's the new additions to the e and Railroad locomotive roster. So we have this uh, Athen Genesis with Tsunami 2, Norfolk Southern, ES44DC, and that goes gray with our primary color. Then we have a, another ES44DC. We got the 7500. 7500 came my area at uh, actually a couple of times that uh, I did see run by on the uh, railroad, but I like this one here because it's a different color. So I you know, like Profit Grom stuff. Not under Profit Grom, but I still like this stuff. So let's take a look of what it looks like towards the prototype. Master control volume with CB128. I'll put it to 240. F1. F3, Shohan. No, no, F4, Diamond Break. Test that later. Then we have light effects on F5 for the dish lights. F6, light effects too. Now F7 is a cab charter and dimmer. First, F8 is the mute. F9 is alternate mixer, half volume. Now we go to F10, the straight, the eight, and Sandoval. Take a listen to that. Turn again, knock that back down. F11 with the brakes set and release. Alright. Now F13 is couple on a couple. Now F14 is half speed and momentum overdrive. So we skip that. Now we go to F15. That's handbrakes. And hit it one more time. Alright. Now F16 is HEP mode on and off. We'll do that later. F-17 is a fuel loading sequence. Alright, hit that 
again, turn that off. Now we're going to F18, 18 of general service sequence. F19 straight to idle. F20 steam generator or aux hep generator. We have that. 21, 22, not use. Here's 23. Now you got F24, F25, auxiliary light effects if equipped. And the F26, that is a engine RPM notch up. That's, that's hit, hit that four times. Then I'm going to hit a F. 27 knocks down. Now, if I'm confused where I'm at, I hit F19 straight to uh, idle. And click F0 to the headlight. Take a look at this locomotive back in 2002. You got your high mounted number board. Before we get to the compare the model to the prototype, I want to mention that we look at the Afton Flyer. So that 7500 is from 2004 and the 7561 is from 2006. So that's the error and the times you'll look at the uh, locomotive and see uh, what it looked like back then. But of course you can bring it up the present time because it had the PTC antenna right there. So I think PTC start kind of around the 2015, uh, give or take. But you know, you can add the add that piece to it and make it a uh, modern too so it is what it is so anyway let's get into this uh, career multiple type i won't bore you might be a little bit boring but i try not to all right headlight sunshade mirrors on front and then back of the window you got your under warranty 7500 and then you got this uh cap signal light is in the wrong position should be up higher here road name and in the destination here, a correct location. I got your cabinets here. I got your air conditioning with a panel, vent, and another panel in here as it is uh, per prototype. I'm sorry, you can pull that up, take a look at that. Now, as far as the labeling here, we have our red label. Now on the door, you also have that red label and the white on top. And also you have the yellow labeling here on the door near the window. You got your lock holder here, grab barns here, correct handrails, pilot mounted dish lights with the silver around the bulb, correct cut lever. Then you see you got a electrical jumper cord and get MU clusters here. Yellow on the steps, but here we do have a label which is not here on the model. Here we got the F, pipe and plumbing for the uh, toilet, more extensive labeling here. Now these cabinets have labels here. Now up here near dynamic brake housing, you have a vent here with the labeling on the bottom, a panel with a labeling and a vent with a label on the bottom, which is here as it is a per prototype here that we do have our e-bell here in the correct location. But when it comes down to the fuel uh, tank, little things a little off here. Now for the model that the, you had the emergency shut off here, the fuel inlet, digital readout and the sight glass. And a prototype it has the emergency shut off, but it's under this cabinet, which is here. The digital readout, fuel inlet, and the sight glass. So you can go down to 2013. Model does not match the prototype in this area here. Now back to 2008, you have your horsehead logo here with your grab barns. And there's a one on top horn here. You got your exhaust. Got your labeling here. Now in the radio section is locomotive that we have our labeling here under this uh, grill, got a wide grill, tall grill, short grill, wide, as this pro prototype. And we have a leaving here on these uh, cabinets, but 
this locomotive doesn't have a uh, handbrake and this one still doesn't have a handbrake Then check back in 2013 it still does not have a handbrake in 2013 2012 then you look at this truck that has a chain because the inside is a switch that you uh, flip and this apply the handbrake on this uh, locomotive on the uh, truck here now on the model it doesn't have this device here but it doesn't have the handbrake on the other side so i guess the detail part that is not there on this uh, locomotive but it is here on the uh, prototype uh taking a look at other stuff so you do have your sunshade here you got your mirrors front and rear and the one here in the middle you look down row name row number and the designations here the vents here builder's plate more label sensing here on the locomotive got the f for it got three labels here on that door the other doors back here you have uh, orange and yellow one sorry orange and white orange and white and they're leaving down here on the bottom and look at the center sill of the locomotive that you can find the AI tag is here and you have your jack and pad detail and you can find various of the plumbing and piping under this uh, locomotive uh, here now uh, taking a look at the fuel tank uh, detail so in the fuel tank we have a uh, fuel inlet emergency shut off and we have a sight glass and we have a digital readout. So it appears to be correct here on the uh, prototype. And then, uh, I'm sorry, correct on the model as it is per prototype. Now taking a look at the air reservoirs and also more. Oh, here's the contents out there with the 7500. This is a 75, I say a 46, but I got a 7561 and a dash nine. So I can make this contents here. It's pretty cool. So let's say you don't want to model this locomotive back in 2004, but you can do it in 2023, and this is what it looked like here. Some things on this side here that you see at the PTC antenna up top, and also the truck here, where it had the handbrake apparatus here, it's not there anymore. And also it has an ELT holder on this uh, axle of this locomotive. Uh, you will go... In 2022, you see the other side of the PTC is there. I've been here for a while, and you see how dirty it is. But also see that detail with that uh, handbrake that was applied to this uh, locomotive here. So you can bring it from 2004 to 2022, 23, and beyond with the same locomotive with a little added more detail parts. Take a look at this locomotive in 2006 there. High mounted number boards and the headlight there. So for you know the grab iron, the door, you got the yellow handrails with the yellow uh ends of the steps, then you have a different coloration from the top of the locomotive to the bottom. So the center sill is black here. Now you do have your red electrical cord, their uh MU clusters, high mounted dish lights with that uh primary color, and you do have your grab iron here and your ladder grab iron here line going through the uh, center sill this uh, locomotive here as per prototype and uh, under that it's all black f there a label in here now on this cab signal light once again is in the wrong uh, position should be up a uh, higher uh, closer to the uh, seven now it does have the vents here darkened as this uh, per prototype coming across as have the doors here it does not have any labeling here but you do have your diameter brake vent here with the little handles to see come a little closer here on the long hood locomotive you still have your stenciling here here next to the grab irons and the other side the stencil on the model should be here where the door latches is at here the correct vents here on this locomotive and this one does have a handbrake with the handbrake uh labeling and detail here as it is a pro prototype more of this locomotive back in the 2006 here one mirror up front but the back doesn't have it, but you had that guy here in the middle, which is pretty good. Then you got the 7561, the NS there, looking at the Paris correct location. Here you have your more labeling stenciling here. But once again, that cab signal light is in a wrong position. Come across, got your vent. Then you have your two-tone panel of gray and a white, gray and a white. More labeling here on this door. Fuel inlet, emergency shut off. Sight glass and a digital readout, which appears to be here on this uh, prototype. And as this appears on the model, uh, coming back up here, more labeling here on these uh, cabinet doors. Hmm. Okay, so this labeling should be on this cabinet door here. This label should be under this door here. 
and this is the one that appears to be in the uh, correct location, which is here on the uh, prototype. Now, another photo of locomotive in 2006 here. High mounted vertical rear light. You got sand filler hatch, row number, uh, row name, uh, and that's up and down like that. That you have both long grab irons here on the sides where they had the yellow handrail model doesn't have any stints in here but on the prototype it does in 2006 so the 75 61 here is pretty much stuck in 2006 era you can see here now in 2007 is in the black horse scheme uh, logo there 2013 2021 than it is in 2022 here.